Hello guys and welcome to the video and this is a video I've actually been wanting to make for quite a while now because as you guys know I make a lot of comparisons of instant action on PC versus instant action on consoles and always say that the scale on PC is so much more big and epic and grand and how I want to see that scale come to instant action on consoles. So with this video I'm going to be diving into exactly what I'm talking about, show you instant action on PC versus instant action on Xbox One and PS4 just so you guys can see for yourself and just see that really instant action on consoles is missing a lot of the epic scale that is currently in Instant Action on PC. But either way, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. But just in case you guys are new here, I make new awesome videos every single week, so be sure to subscribe. But guys, let's dive right into the video. So diving right into Instant Action on PC on the map Geonosis. Now, guys, if you've only played on console, then you can already see the huge difference in the bot count. I mean, look at how they're just swarming like ants all over the place guys it's completely nuts and that's one thing I really want to showcase in this video is how when you're playing instant action on PC there's hardly anywhere on the map you can look where you don't see bots you don't see conflict you don't see you know gameplay opportunities to engage in with the enemy I mean look at how many bots are swarming the objective here and they're already starting to swarm up and take the C point on the hill now switching over to the exact same thing on consoles you can already tell that well a your character is completely alone and B there are so many less bots just right here on this little route that we took up to get on top of the hill you are you can already see that there's far 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 less bots here I mean when you get up to this little vantage point here uh, I look there's see it's like a barren wasteland you can only see a few bots here and there you look over the other objective you can't really see anything going on over here as well now switching back over to PC, I'm going to go ahead and move down towards this point right here to my right and just kind of give you a, you know, another really good example of what I'm talking about because you can see that there are more bots on this one point defending this point right here than there are in the entirety of your team on console instant action and that just goes to show you, you know, there's more bots defending a single point, you know, in this example that I'm giving you here. We're going to go ahead and start pushing up the hill towards C and you can see that, you know, obviously that's not all the bots on the map. There's a battle that's going on over here at sea as well which you know just goes to show that you know there's conflict everywhere you know it's not you know whereas in instant action on console it feels more like you know you're running around looking for a fight whereas in PC instant action the fight is everywhere and you're choosing you know when to duck in and dive out of different fights and jumping into different kinds of attack scenarios I'm actually going to fast forward this just a little bit so I can give you a different point of view. My point being that, you know, the conflict is engulfing the entire map. You know, now I'm looking over here. There's a whole other battle. You can see there's troopers pushing up from this side as well. Just going to show that the bots fill the map. Whereas on consoles, you're really running around looking for a fight. Whereas in this game, the fight's going over, you know, the entire map and you're just choosing, you know, which fight do you want to take part in. Now I'm going to switch back over to the console version where I left off and you can see like, you know, there's just hardly anybody here compared to the PC version. I'm going to go ahead and push up this hill as well. And, you know, by the time I get up here, you know, the there's not hardly nearly as much battle going on here as there was in the PC version. And that's just because you know the bots are just far more spread out by the time I get up here with almost you know zero opposition there's just nobody here and I'm free to take this point you know you know there might be one or two bots here defending it but that's nothing compared to what the PC version looked like and I can look everywhere on the map and it's basically the same thing there's gonna be you know two or three bots fighting over here two or three bots fighting over there it doesn't feel like a huge epic large-scale battle I mean if I look out onto this landscape I can just see like you know just a couple people fighting and that's how the entire map looks on instant action on consoles whereas PC as I've shown you it feels like an epic huge large-scale battle and now I'm gonna go ahead and switch over to the map Kashyyyk you know and guys like I mentioned earlier you can instantly tell that this is instant action on PC just because of you know it feels like a huge droid army is charging inland here whereas on console it just it doesn't really feel like that it feels more like team deathmatch whereas if I look over here to my left you can see there's a, you know a ton of droids pushing up the left flank here and they're gonna have their own completely separate battle versus the droids that are pushing right up the middle and you know it just gives you you know a freedom of choice that's in the PC version of this game whereas you know you're choosing which huge battle do you want to dive into now here's another little experiment I did I drove a stap around the map on PC and you know you gotta love you know how the speeders work in Battlefront 2 right now just skipping all over the place but my point being that as I'm flying around this map I'm getting shot at you know just about everywhere there's nowhere really on the map I'm going where I'm not you know getting shot at 
where I'm not taking damage, where I'm not running into battles, whereas on console, I feel like I can fly around in a speeder like you're seeing now and not run into, you know, an enemy to kill for, you know, a minute at a time. And that, I feel like that just really highlights the problem with instant action on consoles because you can really feel the lack of a player count when you're able to get around the map so quickly. And now I'm going to go ahead and switch back to instant action on consoles and just kind of give you that night and day comparison to this charge that we just saw on PC because guys, it is instantly noticeable that there are less than half the bots here than there were on PC. And, you know, I know a lot of people are going to be saying, you know, it's because, you know, the consoles just aren't powerful enough. You know, the AI is too complex. We can't get that many AI on consoles. And, guys, all I really have to say is that Battlefront 2 in 2005 had more bots than this. And that was two console generations ago. Are you saying that in two console generations we haven't, you know, moved forward, you know, enough to get more bots than this? I don't want to believe that. You know, maybe in the future, with the next generation of consoles right around the corner, they can release an update that allows at least, you know, next gen console owners to be able to play instant action with more bots so that we can have gameplay like you're seeing right here on PC. I mean, because guys, this is so much better than what we're seeing on consoles. It's insane. And really, guys, I just wanted to show you guys that, you know, are playing on consoles that don't, you know, play this game on PC to know exactly what I'm talking about when I say instant action on PC is superior to consoles. And guys, I'm first and foremost a console player. And I would much rather play on Xbox One because that's where my friends play and that's where I've been playing games literally since 2001 when I got my original Xbox because that's just the kind of gamer I am and it's just a shame that Instant Action doesn't have a level playing field between PC and consoles because like I said before, I don't want to believe that it's because of the you know lack of power in current gen systems that you know we can't get more than 14 AI per team in Instant Action but hopefully with next generation consoles right around the corner, we'll hopefully see change soon comparison of instant action on PC versus instant action on consoles and as you guys all know I love the mode I make videos about features I want to see added to instant action such as starfighters or even smaller little you know quality of life things like the ability to select a time of day when you're creating your instant action match but guys honestly one of the most important things that can come to instant action on consoles is to raise that AI bot count like we're seeing on PC just to give console players that epic offline battle you know experience that you're seeing on PC that we've been wanting to see on consoles ever since the game launched and really guys if they could do that that would be absolutely incredible and that was the point of making this video but guys that is all i have for today if you like this video be sure to like it i make new awesome videos every single week so be sure to subscribe and i'll catch you guys in the next one see ya